Okay, so we're starting off this article on going green at the office mm -hmm. with someone speaking ah. to a group.、Um, it might not be the kind of article you'd see written down in a magazine or a newspaper. So let's find out what they're saying.、Okay. The article says, "Hello, everyone. I'd like to start the meeting by announcing that we've reached our goal of going green in the office." So they're speak. They're saying hello, everyone. So、mm. it sounds like they're probably talking to a group of people.、Um, the word meeting is mentioned too. Um, so maybe you think this person could be a boss or a leader of some kind. Yeah, I believe so. It seems that he wants to bring、mm -hmm. he or she wants to bring everyone's attention to something. Yeah. Okay, 看来今天我们的 talk 单元是可能是一个老板啦，或是一个主管有没有在一个 meeting， 在一个会议上要宣布某一件事情哦。因为首先他是用什么来做开场白？他说 Hello, everyone. 接着他就说了 I'd like to start the meeting by Announcing that. Announcing, blah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah.、Mm. So in this first sentence, we have our first vocabulary word, and that is announce. Announce is a verb. The speaker is announcing something good. So announce means to tell people something important, like a piece of news, maybe some updates at work, or even a big life event like marriage or a new、wow. job, something like that. You would announce something like this to a group of people, like your family or your. Friends, you can also say you're making an announcement. So here's another example of that. I am happy to announce that my wife and I are going to have a baby this summer. Wow. Oh, that's a big thing, definitely. Right, and、mm -hmm. you would probably say congratulations、mm -hmm. if somebody says that to yes. you. Yes. Announce 是一个动词，就是宣布啦，或是宣告的意思。通常是用在比较正式的场合。那不过呢，如果我们要用这个它的名词只要用刚刚 Cat 老师有补充的 announcement. Okay, 那比方像是呢，哎，我可以说啦 ，the company president has announced her retirement. So you can also announce、mm -hmm. somebody's retirement. Yeah. Or their engagement was formally announced in the newspaper. Right. Now you could also use announce that. Okay. Yeah. For example, a voice on the loudspeaker announced that the store was closing in ten minutes. Everybody, please get up. I know. I'm <laughs> telling you to go home.、Mm -hmm. Okay. 再、yeah. 回到课文，他提到就是说，各位好，这场会议呢，我想先跟大家宣布，我们已经达成绿色办公室的目标，所以这就是我们今天的主题哦。Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're announcing something kind of big in、right. a meeting. So what they're announcing is this: now we're helping the environment and have even cut costs at the company as well. Well, that's、wow. a good thing. Wow,、yeah. two good things. Okay,、mm -hmm. 所以我们正在为这个环境尽一份心力。可是最棒的时候，他接下来就说，甚至还缩减了公司的成本哦。嗯哼 ，Okay. So how did they do that? How did they cut、right. their costs? It says one example of our environmentally friendly successes is going almost completely paperless. Wow. Going paperless is something a lot of offices are doing these、mm. days, right, Laura? Yeah, and that's yeah. a really good thing,、mm -hmm. especially good for the environment. Yes, definitely. Okay, 大家有猜到 paperless 是什么呢？ Mm. 字尾 l e s s 如果接在名词之后，就形成了形容词，表示没有什么的，或是缺少什么什么的。比方像是刚刚提到的 paperless， 当然就是指。无纸的，所以刚刚整句话是说，哇，这个我们呢实践这个环保的成功案例之一，就是呢几乎达到无纸化 paperless。Okay, so in this sentence, as well as talking about going paperless, we're talking about the words environmentally friendly. This is an adjective phrase, so it goes before a noun. If something is environmentally friendly, it doesn't hurt the earth. We call Earth's nature the environment, and if you're friendly to something or someone, it means you act kindly toward it. If you are acting kindly toward the environment by doing things like recycling, using less energy, using Less paper, going paperless. You're being environmentally friendly. Here's an example of that word. Riding the bus is more environmentally friendly than driving a car because more people can use less gas. Because on a bus you can have maybe up to 50 people, something like that, whereas in a car you can have only four. So the bus uses less gas to get more people where they're going. 
that's good at always take a bus or、yeah. the MRT.、Mm-hmm. So I guess yeah, those are very environmentally friendly.、Yes. Okay, 我们刚刚一直提到的 environmentally friendly, friendly 我们都知道是友善的，可这两个字组合起来就是环保的，也就是对环境无害的意思，是个形容词。There are also similar words that pretty,、mm-hmm. mean pretty much the same thing,、right. like eco-friendly. Yeah, that's a good one. 通常我们就是指环保的产品。还有呢，我们标题一直讲到的 green. Okay, 通常有类似的意思，不过它通常是用在形容科技、能源或是建筑等等的其他环保应用上。那如果你用到 clean 这个字，特别是形容干净的能源，尤其呢是不排放伤害环境的物质到大气中。嗯 ，OK。Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're talking about being environmentally、yes. friendly by going paperless at their company.、Mm. So now they say instead of printing everything out like this, everyone is now using chat box on their computers. Um, chat box sounds like a little bit like something we use at work.、Mm, I yeah, know, I use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do.、Um, so here we hear the phrase "instead of." That means you change one thing for a different thing. In this case, we're changing one way we do something, like printing things out for a different way, which is using this app or this website called Chat Box. And that's you know it lets workers talk to each other,、mm-hmm. send files, give and receive work they need to do, and they never need to print anything out. <laughs> It's all online. There's no paper used. So convenient.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So, 刚刚课文提到的是，现在大家都在电脑上使用 chat box， 以替代纸张列印。其中的 instead of 后面我们要接的是名词或是动名词，就是取代什么、代替什么。所以注意哦，就是说 instead of 后面接的人事物是被取代的、没有的。比方，如果我说到了 I had juice instead of milk， 所以 instead of 后面的 milk， 也就是牛奶是被取代的，也就是说我没有喝牛奶，而取代的是什么呢？我喝了是果汁。Here's another example sentence regarding saving water.、Mm-hmm. You could save a lot of water by having a shower instead of taking a bath. Yeah, that's、mm. true. If you take a short shower, you can use a lot、yes. less water. Okay, so through the system, through the system of going paperless, we're、oh, through the system of chat box. Chat I should box. say、mm-hmm. we're messaging, we're setting up meetings, and giving out tasks. Great.、Mm-hmm. Okay. What's a task? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll explain that in a bit. Okay. So, by using this system, we can transmit this information, arrange meetings, and distribute tasks. That message in here is a verb, which means to transmit information. It refers to the electronic form. That task means task, just small tasks or small jobs,、yeah. work that you have to do. Yep, yep. And these are the things they're giving out. So the phrase "give out" means when you give out something,、uh-huh. you don't just give it to one person; you give it to many people.、Mm. So we can also say something like "hand out," "pass out." You can give out work. You can give out food. Homework, many other things. Anything that you can pass to many people, you can give out. Give something out. 在这里指的是分发啦，或是发布这样的意思。像是 they gave out copies of the newsletter, or he's always giving out unwanted advice. Now we also saw another vocabulary which I explained earlier. Task 就是任务，工作。那跟 task 相关的常用的一些片语啦，或者字词，像是 a difficult or impossible task， 指的就是艰难的任务或是工作。那如果要完成任务，动词我们就要用 complete or accomplish a task。那如果是执行、例行工作、例行性的工作，我们就可以用 perform routine tasks。Okay, now how can I use it in an example sentence? I could say something like, "Our main task is to review the budget." Okay, so we're talking about a system where they're giving out tasks and setting up meetings without using any paper, which is helping them go green. So here's another way that the office says they are going green. Also, you've probably noticed the new LED lights. This kind of bulb uses less power and lasts longer. And has thus helped reduce our electricity bills.
Wow, good. Okay,、yeah. so 另外还有什么提到说？哎，你们大概都有注意到新的 LED 灯。那这个灯泡呢，耗电量比较少，而且更持久，所以帮助他们减少了电费的支出。We saw a lot of vocabulary words there, right? Yeah, definitely. We have two vocabulary、mm-hmm. words in this sentence. So the first one is the word reduce. Reduce is a verb that means you make something smaller or make it less. And so many people might try to reduce the calories or the fat that they're eating if they want to get thinner.、Um, reducing the trash we make is also a good way. It's also a good example. We can throw away fewer things and not make so much. Make less trash. Yeah. So here's an example. Tanya decided to reduce the time she spent using her phone so she could spend more time with her kids. Probably、wow. a good thing. I know. Okay, reduce 就是 decrease 减少降低的意思。那有时候我们会提到，就是大家都很想要的，就是哎，如果可以减肥，就是 reduce your weight. Now my weight reduces when I stop eating sugar.、Mm-hmm. Mm, or I could use it in a sentence like this as well. The medicine reduces the risk of infection. That's good. Okay, so let's look at the second word in that sentence. What is it that we are reducing? We are reducing electricity bills. So electricity is a noun, and it is something we all use every day. We're using、right. it right now. <laughs> When you turn on a light or plug in your computer, use the AC, you are using electricity. And we have to pay money for that electricity because we get it from the city where we live、um, in Taipei. We might get it from the Thai Power Company. Right.、Um, that's why the less you use, the less you pay. And if you can reduce your bills, <laughs> then you get to pay less money. Yay!、Yeah. So how would I use this for example? Our house gets its electricity from the sun's energy, so we don't have to pay for it. Because how are you going to pay the sun?、Right? <laughs> and that's called solar power or、mm-hmm. energy, right? Solar power, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So electricity 就是电或是电力。那如果我们用电费的话，就后面加上 bill, electricity bills. Okay. So for example, how can I use electricity? I could also say the electricity has been turned on,、Ooh. or the electricity went off during the storm. Oh no! I hate it when that that's、happens. scary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and let's see what else. What's more, we've recently added many large, beautiful plants to the ground. So, oh, that、wow. sounds nice. I like this the most, too, actually. Yeah. 还有呢，他们最近在这个地上种植了许多大株的漂亮植物。Mm-hmm. So why add plants in an office? Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out. They increase oxygen levels, which can、oh. help fight chemicals in the air from electronics or from building materials. So increase is a verb that we see in here. By increasing something, it's like the opposite of reduce. You make、yes. it go higher. You make more of it. Increase is an interesting verb. You can say I increase the level or the level increased. You can go either way. Both are okay.、Um, could also be a noun. We had a big increase in sales. Here we're saying that the plants, the new plants in the office, are increasing something or making something bigger or more. Um, so, how would we use increase? For example, by sleeping for one hour longer than before, Jessica greatly increased her energy level during the day. Hmm. So, going back to the article, the plants increased or made more of something. What was it? They increase oxygen level. So, 刚刚课文提到是这些植物会提高氧气含量 oxygen. Okay. 那其中的 increase 就是增加啦<笑> ，OK， 或者增长。You could also talk about the population is increasing. That just means it's growing.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. OK， 那所以呢，我们刚刚还有提到 electronics， 就是电子产品。OK， so let's see. He said a few different things that is making their company、right. go green, like plants, new light bulbs, going and, paperless. Yeah. So now it says in short. I think our company is now in the lead when it comes、wow. to green offices. Yeah, in short,、mm. in short, this phrase means the speaker has talked about something for a long time or a longish time, and、mm-hmm. now they want to say it again in a very short way, just to put a final touch on their topic. So the boss has talked about all the ways their office is now more green than before, and is saying what he thinks in a short way. 
通常在开会啦，或是做简报，甚至是演讲的时候，我们要做个总结，就可以用到这样子的一个 phrase， 就是 in short。总而言之，简单的说，其实它跟 in summary 的意思是差不多。So for example, in short or in summary, the company is doing extremely well. 那刚刚提到的片语 in the lead 有领先的意思，所以刚刚啊，哇，听起来真的是很棒的。就是简而言之，我认为我们在实践绿色办公室方面已经领先其他公司啦。Okay, so in short, the company、mm-hmm. is in the lead in something.、Right. Yay! So when it, here's another phrase in this sentence: when it comes to doing something,、um, it's a bit similar to saying about. Um, you say it when you're thinking or talking about a certain thing. The speaker says, "When it comes to green offices, meaning they're talking about any green office, not just theirs, and that they want to say their office is the <laughs> best, number one out of those green offices."、Mm. Mm-hmm. When it comes to 就是谈到或是做到某件事情的时候 blah blah blah.、Mm-hmm. For example, when it comes to trouble, Mary really knows how to cause it. She、mm. sounds an interesting person. I know, Mary. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the speaker wraps up the meeting by saying, "Thanks for your enthusiasm, everyone." Wow, nice. Okay, 那当然之后他是要感谢在座每个人的热忱付出 Enthusiasm 是个名词，有热忱、热心，甚至还有热情的意思。它的形容词就是 enthusiastic. All right. So probably everybody's feeling like, "Yay, company!" We did a、yeah. great job. Okay. So now the next step for our company is to change the way we make our products. Wow.、Hmm. Okay. 不过他们还有一个小目标，就是下一步我们要做的是改变产品生产的生产的方式。Hmm. All right. And he says, "I'd like to give you a short presentation on that subject now." Okay, so in this case, he wants to focus on this topic and give a short presentation. Presentation is a short presentation. So we're going to learn about some ways that this company might be able to change their products to be more environmentally friendly too. But we're out of time for today, so we're going to have to hear about it tomorrow. For now, let's close out with our for you chat question.